Tomorrow marks the 80th uh, year since D-Day, the beginning of the end of World War II. Heads of states are gathering in France for commemorations, but the focus is not on them. It's on the few veterans of the conflict who are still alive. And as Amy Colley reports, many are in Normandy now for celebrations that are already underway. After eight years, I would be back here not only to visit, but to be alive. Veterans of World War II are gathering in France today. Celebrations are underway ahead of tomorrow's 80th anniversary of D-Day. That's when the U.S. and other Allied forces stormed the beaches of Normandy in 1944. It's considered the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany. I felt that uh, mankind had lost its way. Few veterans from back then are still alive. The survivors are around 100 years old. This could be the last D-Day celebration of this scale with living witnesses. Overwhelming that day. I had no idea that anything like this would be prepared. The French First Lady and President are serving as hosts. It's a rival day for President Joe Biden, and British royals also are participating in the festivities. But the focus is on the troops, who fought a war and ultimately won peace. This is a time to honor those still alive today and those who never made it home. It's hard to describe, you know, all these people who never, never think they recognize old veterans, you know, what, the country, what our country really means. You know, I love my country. Amy Kiley, Ken's Five. Now, that was just from the heart. You yeah. could feel it through. That'd be amazing to be there, too. It 542 sure right now. Still to come